Hello space lovers, it's a star here and today we're going to dive into the big space stories expected in 2025. Joining us again is the amazing Su Bin Xian. Hi everyone, 2025 looks packed with exciting space news. I'm thrilled to be here with Star to share it all. Alright, let's jump right into the top 5 space stories of 2025. Kicking off with number 5, we have the US-China space power race. Space has become a new arena for global power. China aims to build a lunar base by 2030, while the US is pushing its Artemis mission aiming to return humans to the moon by 2026. So it's almost like a new Cold War, right? right. But this competition could also mean faster tech development, which is exciting. Exactly. There's a bit of tension, but it's pushing innovation forward. Suvid, if Korea entered this space race, what impact do you think it will be? Well, Korea definitely has the tech to make an impact. With CASA and other initiatives, I think Korea's role will only grow. On the other hand, the space competition is different from the past, and despite the fierce competition, there is also movement to actively cooperate to solve common human problems using space. Mm -hmm. I expect Korea to show more active performance in space diplomacy in the future. At number 4, we have the launch of the commercial space station Haven 1. This mini space hotel built by Vest Space is set to launch on a SpaceX Falcon 9 by August 2025. It's designed for private research and space tourism and can hold up to 4 people. This is the start of a new era in private space living. A space hotel is almost here. Just imagine CEO Jed McCaleb said the space will become humanity's second home. Subin, will you stay at the hotel in space? Of course, falling asleep under the star in space, it's so romantic, I think. How about you? I definitely will go. But I wonder if we just float around while we asleep? A night in space will be unforgettable. I think so too. Coming up number three. The European Space Agency's reusable spacecraft, Space Rider, scheduled for its first launch in the third quarter of 2025. Space Rider will carry out the scientific experiments in orbit for two months before returning to the Earth. Right. ESA's project manager Luca Feller said Space Rider will make space research more affordable thanks to its automatic landing system. It's amazing to see how affordable space exploration is becoming. What impact do you think from this technology, Subin? I think we'll see a lot more commercial space experiments and maybe one day anyone could send something up there for research. And number two is NASA's Artemis II mission one of the most anticipated human space exploration in the past decade. This mission will take humanity back to the moon's south pole, searching for resources like frozen water. And it's historic because it will include the first woman and the first person of color to set foot on the moon. NASA even called it a mission for all humankind. What research are you hoping for, Subin? I'm really excited about the water and resource exploration. What about you, Star? I'm hoping for advancement in lunar base construction. The day that feels like a sci-fi coming to life may be closer than we think. Our top spot for 2025 goes to Korea's newest rocket, Fourth Launch. Scheduled for late 2025, this mission will carry CubeSats and a mid-sized satellite into orbit. Exactly. Hanhua says this could take Korea's space industry to a whole new level. This feels like another big step toward Korea becoming a space powerhouse. And Subin, how do you see this impacting Korea's future? Uh, I believe this will let Korea tackle even more space projects independently. We are so close to claiming our place in the global space race. And that's a wrap up on the most exciting space stories for 2025. Which news are you looking forward to the most? 
Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Same space channel and same space time.